up guys today i'm going to go through how to create this disappearing effect here are my two raw video clips that i need for this one of them is a shot with the subject in it the second shot is the same shot but without the subject so the first thing i'm going to do is find the point on the first video clip where i want the subject to disappear i'm just going to select the video clip and press m on the keyboard to create this marker then on the second video clip I need to find the same place in the shot so that it matches the same camera position. So around about there. And then I'm going to cut the beginning of this video and drag it over my first video clip, lining it up with the marker. And these two shots don't line up perfectly, but that's okay because we're going to add some more effects to mask that transition. So now the subject should just disappear from the video clip. Now I need to add some sort of shake effect to mask this straight cut. You could use the handheld effect in Final Cut Pro. I'm just going to use a shake transition preset. So if I go to my transitions tab over here, go down to these shake transitions, I'll leave a link to these in the description if you want to check them out. I'm going to add this glow shake transition to the second video clip. Now I'm going to trim the transition to change the speed that I want the shake to be and also play with the settings so that I get a shake that I like. Next, I'm going to add some motion blur. So if I go to my titles tab over here, go to motion blur, drag some motion blur into the timeline over the transition. It creates these nice natural blurred lines and it's gonna mask the transition. So now if I play that back, we have this nice simple disappearing effect. Moving on to this second example, I'm going to add a few more effects so we already have the shake transition added. Let's copy and paste this first video clip and add some glow effects to the subject before it disappears. I'm going to use the MRoto AI effect. This will allow me to really easily mask out the subject in my shot so that I can add effects just to the subject. And I just need to paint on to the subject and then go to the tracker and track that mask forward and back. And you can see how it does a pretty good job of keeping the mask on the subject and over here we just need to go to mask video and then we're left with just the video of the subject so now i'm going to add a glow effect i'm going to use this luma glow effect so now we have a glow effect added i'm also going to add some more distortion on the video clip so i'm going to bring in an adjustment layer add that over all of my video clips adjustment layers don't come with final cut pro but i'll leave a link to them in the description it's a free plugin which you can download and it just allows you to add effects to all of your video clips. I'm going to add on this chromatic distortion and just set a keyframe from zero to a hundred and then back to zero again. And then on this, I'm going to add a shape mask by clicking here on this and add shape mask so that it only affects the area sort of around the effect. And then I'm also going to copy and paste this adjustment layer, add some different presets, which will create these sort of shockwave effects. And then I'll just keyframe the distortion amount on these so that it fades out. And there we go, that is the finished effect. I think it turned out pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.